These are, these are my last remarks to you today. My first remark is, uh, please return your wireless cards to the back of the room. Where, where is the desk? Yes, there. The people who uh, contribute to this meeting are largely unseen by you, but you're going to hear all about them now. In fact, I've decided to extend the agenda. We'll be going until 2.15 today to give me time to thank everyone. No. Um, Rodney, are you here? Rodney, thank you so much. Rodney. This has been so smooth and so much fun, and the beer was so good. Oh, I have an old version of my slide. This is the one I meant to show. This is the one I um, prepared that has all the names of the people I'd like to thank. Rodney's second in command technically was Alec Peterson. He's set up camp in the back, and I think been here for a couple of days straight. He was assisted by Lisa Tilton, who I think I see back there in the corner. Lisa, thank you. Lisa Gregg, Kevin Meyer, and Nick Main from Centergate, we especially want to mention. And there are a couple of other folks who helped us with the wireless network and other technologies that made the meeting happen. Those are Danny Pitts and Nate. Thank you all so much for a great meeting. Joel and Hans were with us this time again from the University of Oregon doing our multicast broadcast. We had a couple of new folks with us from Cisco. Uh, Bo was here, John Myler did not make it but helped beforehand, and Dave Meyer has assisted us with multicast for quite a while. Dwayne set up our squid cash for us. Thank you for that, Dwayne. Um, he will kill me after this, but Dwayne has a book coming out in June and O'Reilly book on web caching. Yay! Pax did a great job of feeding us yesterday morning. Thank you for that. And Asta, yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon seems like three years ago to me. I don't know if that's a feeling shared by all of you. And I should tell you, it's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. Yeah. Last night, Sunday night, Cogent again entertained us with a lavish banquet. Um, it's hard to know what to say to people like this who feel, as they said to me, that it's just a good idea to get everyone together at the beginning of the meeting and relax and have a meal. What can you say to those people? Thank you so much. The person who's upstairs now, um, but who I want to thank very thoroughly is Carol, who makes so much of the meeting happen. You know that because you worked with her over the last couple of months as you were registering. The vendors know it. They're the, uh, she is their main contact at Merit, and she handles everything that happens at the, at the hotel. She was assisted by Don this time, who was also with us in Atlanta. Um, here are Jeff and Sue, hard at work back at Merit. Sue wasn't with us this time, but Jeff's been handling the AV, helping out with slides. Betty, are you here? She's out. She's out wheeling and dealing. Betty has a special font. She's in orange because I still don't have a picture of her, but I promise I will next time. She is our operations manager for everything that Merit does here. These are our network gurus on top. Bob handled our V6 connection. Dave was here to assist. Um, by the way, thank you for you people who did try out the V6 network, the dozen or so of you. Um, it's great to see that actually happening. Rick Davis did our real media this time, and I also want to thank Craig for his assistance and support over the years. Our next job is to take all this down, so um, relax and have a good time, but I do hope that you'll vacate the room soon so that we can clean up and uh, do sign off fairly quickly. And now, the announcement that you've all been waiting for. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm unable to tell you where we will be but I can tell you what we'll be doing. The next NANOG will be announced, if not next week, the week after. Um, at that NANOG, we're going to have a security theme that we're inviting presentations on. 
Uh, we're interested in hearing about the topics that you see listed here. These are just a few examples. We'd like for someone to answer questions like, what versions of the standard infrastructure software should we be running? And why? What are the issues with those versions? So we're not sure yet, of course, how long the security session will take up. I, I would suspect maybe an afternoon. So of course, we'll welcome your proposals on our usual backbone engineering topics. And we'll see you next fall. Thank you so much, everyone.